Cinemaniacs, Captain America, the first Avenger movie review. Hello YouTube, Cinemaman here, and today I will be reviewing Captain America, the first Avenger. Now, I'm sorry if I am late with this review, it's just, there were some points where I just couldn't be bothered, like, reviewing films, and I recently did my review of The Tree of Life, which I'm not sure if any of you have seen, but do check it out. And today I'm going to review Captain America, which was a film that I saw over the summer, but didn't get round to reviewing it. And it is the last in a series of films that were sort of based in the Marvel Cinema Universe that these individual movies that feature characters like uh, we have films like Iron Man, The Incredible Hulk, Iron Man 2, 4 and Captain America and they all had their individual films which somehow lead up to the Avengers film each I think I think each and every one of them like has either appearance from uh, Nick Fury, played by Samuel Jackson, or Tony Stark, played by Robert Downey Jr. I think The Incredible Hulk ended with an um, appearance by Tony Stark. But anyways, Captain America is directed by Joe Johnston and stars Chris Evans, Hayley Atwell, Tommy Lee Jones, Hugo Weaving, Dominic Cooper, and just anyway on with the review now the film takes place in 1942 America has entered the second world war and sickly but determined Steve Rogers is frustrated at being rejected yet again for military service and all this changes when um, Dr. Erskine Erskine plays by um, Stanley Tucci Tucci, recruits him for the secret project Rebirth and proving his extraordinary courage, wit and conscience, Rogers undergoes this experiment and his weak body is suddenly enhanced into this the maximum human potential. He gets like a big six pack all from this machine and when the serum is like lost the army think, well, we can't use him for combat, so we'll just use him as propaganda, and that's when he becomes Captain America. I think during one of the shows, he skips, he skips one of the shows and infiltrates this prison, like this POW camp for prisoners of war, and he sort of saves them all, and this is where he begins to call the shots. So, that's more basically the plot. And, um, I have to say, I remember watching the movie 4. I saw that in the cinemas in 3D. It was a good film. It was, it was good, but I didn't really see any 3D effects. But it was kind of a brilliant film. But with, um, Captain, and 4 is a film that I didn't really get to review for YouTube, but I'll I'll probably get it on DVD or something, or Blu-ray, or 3D Blu-ray. And, um, well, I heard, like, some of the scenes in Captain America, for, like, the, um, scenes set in New York, were, um, they were filmed in Manchester. And Manchester is basically where I live. And I've never, like, except for Honey Ashman with the Kids and Jumanji, I've never really seen any of Joe Johnson's other films. And the evil villain in it, played by um, Hugo Weaving, he sort of reminded me more of, um, like, the German guy in Raised the Lost Ark. 
and his red face reminded me of the ending where all the Nazis, like, their faces melted when they opened the Ark of the Covenant. And I didn't go see this film in 3D. I, um, I didn't see it in 3D, but I saw it in 2D in my local cinema up the road called the Savoy. And I just, even though I was amazed by it, and um, I hear it's coming out in America next Tuesday, and I don't know whether I'm going to get that. I might get a 3D version, because I didn't really get to see it in 3D. But um, I've never really seen Hayley Atwell, who plays Chris Evans' love interest in the film, I've never really seen him do anything. But the, um... I still, I think this is sort of a good film. And, but it does one of those things where it sort of messes up with history. And that's something my dad does not like when it comes to film. I think, because my parents went to see Inglourious Bastards. And the scene where Hitler gets killed along with his other comrades in the cinema which was, by the way an excellent scene but um yeah I don't really know what I have to say but the performances were good, everyone was on on their rain game on the ray game um I haven't seen Tommy Lee Jones in anything in a long time. I I don't I think the last thing he did maybe was like the missing or something. But well, um anyway Um Men in Black Three should be good, so I might check that out. And uh Anyway, if you're planning on getting this on DVD or you're in a, no a foreign country and Captain America hasn't been released in cinemas, it, I recommend you um, stick around after the credits because it actually has a scene where uh, Nick Fury comes to him and offers him a part, to be a part of the Avengers. This was a scene I actually liked. And then after that comes this teaser trailer for the Avengers. And I've never really seen that in a film where the trailers are at the end of the credits. Although I although they may have done that during Matrix Re Reloaded, because the Matrix Reloaded and the Matrix Revolutions were all being released that same year. And Okay, I think I uh, may. If you're um, if you're uh, a bit, if you think the bo the voice is bad, it's just I don't know. I think it might be a, it might be a cold. Um, it's October, so uh, winter's upon us. So uh, maybe. During the Christmas shopping, I might get, um, you know, if I get any Christmas money for Christmas, I might get Captain America on Blu-ray. I might get the 3D version, actually. Because, uh, again, I've never seen it in, I didn't see it in 3D. But, uh, it should see it. Right, I mean, anyone who's a Marvel fan, go see it, because it is kind of good. And, um, stick around for the Avengers. And I know everyone's going to give me crap comments, because I can't come up with a decent review. But, we all have our mixed thoughts. I mean, I'm just... I'm just making it up as I go along. Right, I'm improvising. I haven't really gotten a script written, so you have to, you know, 
you just have to go with me on this and I know some of you don't think my reviews are any good, but again, what can I do? They're already on YouTube. So anyway, I think I give this film like maybe a four, a four out of five. It is, it's it's decent, you know. It is watchable, but you know, um, the effects in this were good. And, um, you know, I think the accent, when Stanley Tucci and Hugo Weaving, when they do the accent, they're pretty good. But the ending, the ending, I think, was just, I think they ju jumped the shark on the ending. Because when I, um, when I went and seen Thor, I saw the trailer for Captain America. And because it was, like, set in the 40s, I thought... There's going to be some sort of time travel reference because Nick Fury would have to come to him in a way so that for him to join the Avengers because he can't join it like in his state. He'll be an old man by the time Nick Fury comes up to him and goes, "Hey, do you want to do the Avengers?" So. I think they sort of, I thought they will jump the shark on the ending and do something about like time travel. And I enjoyed 4. 4 was watchable. Well, um, Captain America, I give it a uh, 4 out of 5. It's Cinema, Cinema Man signing out. See you later. Bye.